Hey, we'll see the goons get their comeuppance, but for now, it's time to go to our main event, which is next. What? Who's? Oh, that's what it was. I was what? What's going on here? <sighs> More megaphones. Why? What's with all the megaphones tonight? Yeah, like okay, Jimmy Hart. Just kidding. Your hand, up. I haven't seen him in a while. I Ethan know, Wild. Dear Abby, if ignorance is bliss, why is Dr. Ethan Wild so happy today? Ha ha, I'm happy. If a camper does not complete their application, what do you do, Abby? What do you do? I, I frankly don't care what it is that you do. The paperwork was not complete. Brad Rush did not do his due diligence. No, sir. No, ma'am. As of today, I am not only Dr. Ethan Wild, PhD, I am, let's be safe, Commissioner Dr. Ethan Wild, PhD. You see, I am the new oh, yeah. Camp Leapfrog Athletic Commissioner. I will bring rules, rules back to the camp with Commissioner Moran, who will be the lead inspector. His lead. word is gold. Lead, lead. And Kevin Skiffington. He's an intern. He's new. We'll evaluate him when the period is over using the appropriate HR approved protocol. I'm it's, against the you, pants. You'll be fine. I'm already against your pants. You'll be fine. I'm, already against I'm, I'm not even sure what that's all about, to be quite honest. Yeah. In order to display, since I'm a person of a culture and refinement, the acumen that we will bring to the ring. Mr. Moran, what do you think? Janitor. To oh, janitor. payback time. Payback time. time. I, saw. I saw what you did. Mine's in the car. Do I have time to Get in. Yeah. You're going to do your job. Get in here. You're going to be in a match. You, Scruff. I hope yeah. you're ring ready. Get in here. You're yeah, having a match. Up. Yeah, screw off. We are going to bring rules back to Camp Leapfrog. Thank you. You may leave now. You may leave. Uh, okay, well, uh, some some harsh and choice words uh, by Ethan Wilde, uh, not only to Camp Leapfrog, uh, the roster in general, uh, but for Twitch and Tommy Vex. I'm curious to see how this match is going to play out, being that uh, the rules are dictated largely by Wild, uh, who is a competitor in this match, which gives the other two competitors a uh, unfair disadvantage, I would say. All right, Twitch rolling out. We will be joined in just a moment by uh, the lovely Edith Surreal. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, she went to get a jacket, but we are here for uh, for the Campground Athletic Commission rules. Last time we saw Ethan Wilde, he uh, he had blonde hair. It's it's been a while since he's been sticking his nose into Camp Leapfrog business. Uh, but for those of you who are just tuning into Leapfrog for the first time, welcome back, Edith. How are we doing? I'm much warmer now that I got my jacket. I am so glad because we we can't be like shaking and chattering our teeth on commentary. But no, it's as not a good look. No, it's not. But as I was saying earlier, uh, Ethan Wilde and Johnny Moran have been a thorn in the side of Camp Leapfrog, particularly uh, Brad Rush, Johnny Moran originally acting as a camp counselor here, and then selling out to Ethan Wilde, uh, all for the purposes of being promised a job at the Performance Center of all places. Bureau bureaucracy is really, uh, really playing a role in tonight's affairs. First, Brad Rush forgot to pay the electric bill. Now he forgot to do the paperwork for commissionership of Camp Leapfrog and it is all in the hands of Ethan Wilde now. This is something. Bureaucracy is the number one enemy of uh, Camp Leapfrog tonight, huh? Yeah, and I do believe that Wilde just changed the rules. Per order of okay. Commissioner Wilde, arm drags are outlawed in this matchup. How can an arm drag, such a fundamental move in pro wrestling, be outlawed? And why? Is it maybe because he can't take a mere arm drag? I would say so. 
Well, we'll just have to see how this plays out because now Johnny Moran is in the ring and Tommy Vex is tagged in, a sprightly young competitor. Very tough competitor, though. I faced him in the ring a couple of times. Uh, he is very quick, he is very strong, and he has a bright future. Absolutely. We first saw Tommy Vex uh, during yeah. a tadpole yeah. match against Saber, yeah. not Saber Dorado. Uh, it slips my mind right now, but check it out on IWTV. So he's a janitor, huh? Oh. Don't tell Chris Levin that. <laughs> Or he might use it in the match <laughs> against Vex. No, I'm just kidding. I, I do respect the sanitizing of the hands, though. Oh, just a second here, Sam. I believe you have a new rule added to this match. No! Commissioner Wild has outlawed five knuckle shuffles from this matchup. <laughs> okay, well, uh, John Cena would certainly be disappointed. Can we get him on the uh, next Camp Lee Frog, do you think? Oh my gosh, I would die. So is that a yes? Well, I think it might be out of the budget, but he does follow me on Twitter, so I'll have to oh. send that DM. Wow, he doesn't follow me. I'm, I'm pretty sure his publicist just followed a bunch of people. <laughs> Speed up? You can't tell the ref how to pace out his refing, his pinning. It's actually, he can. He has that power to make that rule if Ethan Wilde wanted to. But here's the thing, a match is supposed to, you know, run at a certain pace for the enjoyment of the fans, and I feel like he's not allowing the fans to enjoy themselves by I, making so many rules. I don't think he cares what the fans think. Two! All right, well, small package, slow pin, still didn't work out in Wilde's, uh, in Wilde's a, a bit of a favor. Sorry, I got tongue-tied there, people. How do you overcome this advantage, Sam? Let's what? what are Tommy Vex and what? his partner going to do? to win this match if they have to fight against bureaucracy and rulemaking. They have to have an unlimited arsenal, literally. And I don't know if either of these two competitors do. We'll have to see. Commissioner Wild has ejected Chris Levin and has appointed Kevin Skiffington as the new referee for this matchup. Well, finally, referee Chris Levin gets a break and here is intern Skiff with Co electric neon uh, tights on. Yes. Well, I suppose as an intern, he has to do the bidding of uh, of his boss. While also uh, acting as a dirty ref. A dirty ref? Oh, sidewalk slam to Twitch. Goes for the cover. Only gets a two count. Uh, a very fast two count at that. Certified official there. Moran staying on Twitch. Once again, only getting a two count. And if that pin count is going so fast, uh, I, don't, I don't see why they can't get the three count. There's something that isn't adding up. It doesn't need to add up. This is all according to, uh, to the plan of our new commissioner here. Um, he wants to take over Camp Leapfrog and he wants to win this match by any means necessary, even if it is playing dirty and making up rules as he goes along. Absolutely. And I mean, a commissioner does have that right. Evidently. Mm. Yeah, there have been many instances in, uh, in history where certain athletic commissions have either helped wrestling or uh, maybe given wrestling a little bit of a hard time, namely when women were allowed to wrestle in the state of New York for the first time in the 70s. That was a, that was a win. Yeah. Yeah. But this commissioner, no, he's, he's just a bad egg. <laughs> yes, of course. Who can I report Ethan Wilde to? I feel like we need to get HR on him because he's a tyrant. Yes, we have to look into that. Let's give him his own bureaucratic nightmare to deal with. <laughs> Imagine all the paperwork. Mm. He actually loves it. He loves paperwork. I wish there was like paper in the ring because Vex and Twitch could just like give him a bunch of paper cuts. <gasps> That's such a good idea. Right? All over the hands. Then he wouldn't be able to fill out any of the paperwork that gives Leapfrog a hard time. Oh my gosh. It's all coming together right now. Go tell them that. I, I wish I could. <laughs> you gotta stay here. <laughs> great strategy, but... Nah. Yeah, you can't leave me alone here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you've been doing a great job, Edith. Oh, I would do you. commentary with you any <gasps> day of the week. Oh my gosh, let's do it again soon. Yes, absolutely. And Twitch is a... Uh, 
unsure of where he is making the tag but falling to the floor as soon as that tag was made. Vex with a couple of clotheslines to the team of Wild and Moran who seem a little bit blindsided. Finally, 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 Vex and Twitch have the upper hand, and Vex is fired up here. Uh, what's he going for? Oh, my. Trying to pick up Johnny Moran there into victory roll position, but Johnny Moran just finds his way out of it. He does not want to go up there. I cannot blame him. That is that is the high rent district, and uh-oh. Uh okay. It seems like another stipulation has been added. I mean, technically, you're not allowed to choke your opponent in any match like that. Yeah, so it's nothing new. No. Oh. Oh. Ethan Wilde, so strong. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like that. That was like a... Is this like enough? Like a gut wrench. Yes. Okay. Well, hmm. Cheap victory. The winners of this match, Johnny Moran and Camp Commissioner Ethan Wilde. Well, this time around, it looks like Ethan Wilde and Johnny Moran did come up victorious, but not without making their own rules at their convenience in order to win. And uh, I guess decent job refing for Skiff. Uh. And the thing is, they didn't even really need to do that. They are incredibly tough competitors, and that was an, that incredible... Uh, finishing move there from Ethan Wilde, that gut wrench uh, dominator it looked like. Um, yeah. Well, that, maybe one day he'll he'll see that he doesn't need to, uh, you know, be well, a bad egg in order to win.